Slide the latch to the right and lift the battery out. Remove the 13 2.5 mm by 8 mm base screws. Remove the two 2.5mm by 8mm screws on the back of the laptop. Remove the 2.5mm by 8mm locking screw. Using a screwdriver, slide the optical drive tab to the right. Slide the optical drive out of the laptop. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Using a flathead screwdriver, carefully pry up the power button cover by inserting the screwdriver into the groove on the right side of the power button cover. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Carefully lift up the keyboard and place it on the display. Lift the cable latch up to remove the keyboard cable. Disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna cables. Unscrew the display cable grounding screw. Unplug and loosen the LCD cable. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm hinge screws. Lift the display away from the laptop. Loosen the captive screw. Unplug the standby switch. Unplug the touchpad. Lift the palm rest from the base assembly. Unplug the speaker cable. Remove the two 2.5mm two by 5mm screws on the left and right speaker. Lift the speakers away from the laptop base.
place the speakers onto the base. Secure the speakers with the two screws. Reroute and plug in the speaker cables. Place the palm rest onto the base and snap down the edges. Plug in the touchpad. Plug in the standby switch. Tighten down the captive screw. Place the display onto the laptop. Replace the two hinge screws. Reroute and plug in the LCD cable. Screw in the LCD ground screw. Reroute and plug in the antenna cables. Plug in the keyboard cable. Place the keyboard into the palm rest and secure with the two screws. Starting on the left side, snap the power button cover into the laptop, working your way to the right. Close the laptop and turn it over. Slide the optical drive into the laptop. Replace the 2.5mm by 8mm locking screw. Replace the two screws on the back of the laptop. Replace the 13 base screws. Place the battery into the laptop and press down until the latch locks into place. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.